Merry Vidmas everyone! Welcome to another video with Castlegate. We are now going to look at a infamous game. This is called Desktop Tower Defense. It had um, some rise of popularity for some reason a little while ago and uh, there's good reason for it. It's, it's basically one of those games without violence so it's child friendly it's loads of fun and also it's uh, it's got a cute charm to it with all the little drawings and stuff. And yes, you do actually play on someone's desktop. That's, that's one of the things about it <laughs> that I like. So anyway, let's go ahead and start playing it. By the way, Vidmas number 12 for 12th of December. That's right. We're almost halfway to Christmas through Vidmas. How cool is that? Christmas is almost here. Now, let's go. What are we going to do? Are we going to do a challenge or are we going to do fun? 100. Which one's the one that just never ends? Oh, I can't remember. Pretty sure it's the 100. Let's try the 100. Why not? Now, with this one, you make a maze out of towers. Basically, you use pallet towers to, like, I don't know, do something like this. Sort of gather all of the creeps from like the starting areas and sort of drive them into the same point and then from there what you do is you uh, ideally want to go ahead and make two different mazes why two different mazes well because well how do I start there we go send next level you want to make two different mazes because you want to have the ability to go ahead and juggle all of the ground units back and forth between two mazes so they keep going to a couple of different exits you do that because oh, I can send next wave up here you do that so you can juggle them around and you can give your towers more time to kill all of the ground units it takes a little bit of a while to set up but that's the strategy and that's what this game was known for it actually made the idea of juggling units kind of more widespread known widespread known that is good English not um, let's see let's go ahead and do something like this Oop, I need more just gonna try and make two mazes that converge to a point down here and then give it enough room so that I can block one with a tower and then I'll be able to sell it and block the other one with the tower at the exit so that way the monsters keep going back and forth and back and forth of course this doesn't work for air units but hey it's not perfect anyway I know I'm not I'm not using this area up here a little bit and I'm also not using this area but honestly in the grand scheme of things it's not that important so don't worry about it it's fine in fact what can we do here oh we got a little bit of gold let's do that oh next up is flying now that's the real test of your maze, whether or not your maze can beat flying units. I think the swarm tower is the one that attacks flying units. And I don't think I'm going to have enough gold to do it. Let's see how we go. Actually, I'm really struggling here. Hold on, let me just... I have to build up my maze a little bit more. No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. What a demonstration. That's okay, I've got a few lives left. But it's not so much the loss of lives that's so bad about doing this. It's a more the fact that uh, basically I lost the gold that I would have got had I have killed those units. In fact, you know what? I should stop mucking around. I should upgrade one of these pallet towers. What do you say? Just to give it a bit more oomph. How do I upgrade it? Where do I upgrade it? I can sell it. Ah, oh, down here. Upgrade for five. Is that all? Yeah, let's upgrade these things. Let's go. And hurry up. <laughs> let's see, for 20 more. Yep, that's worth it. There we go. It'll be a non-issue soon because honestly my maze is getting a lot bigger now. Which is good. I'll just do something like this. Actually, let's get rid of those to clean this up a little bit more. Oh, and that cannot be there. Here we go. So 
So basically, this is kind of the maze. They, it kind of converges to a point down here, and then I can use one tower to block off one side or the other. And in doing so, I can trap all of the ground units here indefinitely, which means the only thing that I need to worry about now, and I can sell this to replace it with Swarm Tower, is, of course, air units. Now, I need a little bit more gold before I can afford this. There we go. Nope. nope. 50 gold? Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident, especially now that I've got towers all over the map. I should be okay for flying as well. But yeah, how good is this game? It's just like simple little shapes. It's much like my previous vidmus about um, bubble tanks tower defense. Very similar concept. I'm not sure exactly which one came first, but um, well, bubble tanks, in my opinion, should have been more popular than it actually was. Here we go. Let's block that. And that redirects all of those guys. So that they have to take the long way. And if I sell it, they come back again. Uh, now, if I do that, then I can block here or here or here. Basically, that's my choices. But not both. In fact, now that we're kind of sitting pretty, we've made our maze, which is fine. Now I need to make some stuff that's kind of near the center of it that hits hard. Um, there is a tower here that does like... The dart tower does a good amount of splash damage and has a decent range, especially when it's upgraded. So let's go ahead and try the dart tower. Let's get that going a little bit. And while we're at it, before I forget, let's also make sure that we can take down some air units. So let's go ahead and upgrade this uh, swarm tower a little bit. But no, we're looking pretty good at the moment. That boss is just going to go down really soon. I think, yep. Oh, this one might be a small issue. But that's okay. That's why we've got these double maze going. So I can just do that. Huh? Wait, what? What happened? Why did it not let me block? What's going on? Blocking? Uh... Oh, I see why. Okay. Of course, because I'd be blocking monsters being able to go to this exit. Okay, that was silly. Okay, then this is where it is. It's okay, by the way. It turns out I was able to destroy that um, tower anyway. Not the tower. The boss The boss went down really, really easy. And actually, I should be upgrading some stuff because, honestly, I have a lot of gold. <laughs> so I may as well spend it. And it seems like this is the shorter path because they're always favoring the lower path and that's fine by me. Let's see, upgrade that, upgrade the swarms again. Sell this and replace with that. Put everyone on the lower path again. And that's practically the whole game. Just make sure that you don't die to air units. Okay, don't neglect your anti-air. And then all the ground should be fine. In fact, I can just do something like this and it's perfectly fine. Especially with the dart tower, because the dart tower, it's, uh, it is the thing what kicks. I'm not going to lie. It, it really hits hard. And like I said, it's got splash damage, so it takes care of all the units really easily. In fact, let's, let's not be too silly now. Let's sell that. And, oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost didn't get it in. But that's okay. We're fine. We've survived. Ooh. I can upgrade to a storm tower. Ooh, damn. That air is really strong. Okay. Let's fix that by putting down another swarm tower. Right in there. Now let's upgrade it. And actually, let's sell this tower now. Because every time you sell a tower... The act of selling a tower takes a little bit more time, so you kind of got to take that into account. You can't just sell it right there and then expect it to disappear. So you do kind of have to do things in advance a little bit. It's not that bad, though. Honestly, it's quite manageable. We'll see. I'll sell it now. And it's sold. And we're back onto the top row. And that's pretty much how you... 
set yourself up to win this entire thing. Just keep upgrading those dart towers. I mean, there are other towers as well. You've got your bash tower, which is kind of like a area of effect tower. In fact, that would be good for like here. I should replace this with a bash tower instead. Why not? In fact, I could sell this and this and put bash towers there and there as well. That might work out, actually. Let's try that. There we go. Bash tower, bash tower. And let's upgrade them. Is you the hotkey? Yes, it is. Good. That makes life a little bit easier. I've got a little bit of cash. 50. Yeah, I can afford upgrade all of these. So I've got bash tower 3. What damage does it do? 40. Gee, it's small range though. I'd like if it had a more larger range. And all of these these things are coming pretty close actually. So sell. And let's chuck a pellet tower once more. There we go. Hmm. Do I have enough to take down flying this time around? I think I do. Oh yeah, the bash tower also stuns. I forgot about that. Oh shoot. I fall asleep at the wheel here. I think I'll still be okay. Uh wow. Well, okay, I leaked a couple of monsters, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I'm taking down here, no problem. So, you know what? Instead, let's just focus on ground. Let's upgrade those darts. Make sure we get as much out of them as we can. And let's send a few waves. <laughs> Quite a few waves. Let's sell this. Jeez, it takes a while, doesn't it? Okay. Hey, take down the air, please. Wow, I overestimated how powerful these were. Two lives left. That's not cool. Ooh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That is how to lose playing <laughs> desktop tower defense. I was a little bit greedy there, and honestly, I was a little bit distracted. I wasn't spending my gold properly, and I wasn't setting myself up basically for success with the ground units and stuff. So, whoops. But still, you know, I probably beat up to around... 38 39 and i wasn't even focusing so yeah not a bad effort in my part and honestly this is a great game so you know what it is old i'm not gonna lie the graphics are somewhat basic but honestly with really good games you don't need great graphics you just need fun okay and this game ticks that box it's very fun and trust me once you go ahead and employ the method that i did by basically making a double maze and then juggling your stuff and actually juggling them correctly, um, you shouldn't have that much of a problem beating the entire map. It's really, it really is. It's not overly simple. It's this. It's still quite challenging, especially when you have to start selling towers as soon as you've built them because of the sell countdown timer being so long. But um, no, it's, it's a very enjoyable map. Very enjoyable game. I love it. Um, it's aged well. Still, you know, the sounds are cute and everything, and I highly recommend it. So get on down and play Desktop Tower Defense, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Is this game still relevant today? I think it is. I think great games, they're kind of classics, you know. They they don't really get old. And the best thing about this game is that um, it doesn't really suffer from lag anywhere near as much as most other tower defenses. I mean, yeah, if you go ahead and chuck 50 rounds worth of monsters on the map, at the one time, it is going to lag a little bit, especially when your dart towers start killing monsters in mass. That's where, you know, it'll shudder for a bit, but it's not as bad as most other tower defenses. It's reasonably well optimized. Anyway, this is Castlegate signing off. I hope you enjoyed this vid, miss. Please uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, tickle that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.